Welcome back, everybody, to No Man's Sky. I'm an old guy gaming, and we are indeed picking up right where we left off in the last episode. Uh, so our starship is uh, busted, so we have to fix that. And um, let's see what this thing has to say. Scenario iteration, big long number, deleted boundary separation failure likely. Vessel 16 empty, cause sentinel intervention, deliberate transfer. Fresh iteration generated, anomaly containment prepared. Broadcast. Broadcast received. Traveler anomaly detected. Anomaly's compliant. Position locked. System integrity scan initialized. I'm, uh, it hasn't escaped me that this situation we're in right now is reminiscent of the very start of the game. It's like, you know, deja vu almost in some ways. Okay. So, uh, here, let's check this. Nanites from that. Grab that stuff. And oh nice, we got a life support shell. We're gonna go into here and we're gonna go into here and we're gonna go into here and we're gonna go into there. And get that going because we're gonna actually need some ferret, I think, to fix the ship. Okay, so that takes care of all of that. Um, I'm going to do a little bit more scanning before we start the storyline again. It makes so much money now from scanning. It's just amazing. And we need to look and see how many critters are left on the planet, too. Okay, so, um, this looks like there was a ship here before. Let's get, uh, let's see what we need to do with the ship. We need to, at the very minimum, we need to repair these. Uh, so we need some dihydrogen jelly, which means we need some dihydrogen, which I don't have with me. So let's go grab some over here. Okay, there's our die high jelly. Any more red dots? Uh, let's look at this. Discoveries. We need one a ground and an underground. Turn those into pure ferrites, and then we should have everything we need to fix the ship. Let's go here, put the dihydro jelly in, and then we just need 50 pure ferret for that. Sentient plant. Interesting. Okay, let's see if we have enough. Yeah, we do. Okay, that's repaired. We also need to fix our indium drive and our uh, this thing, but we don't need to do that immediately. Can we call our freighter over here? Yep, we can. Okay, let's hop in the ship. Uh, looks like we have another communication. We have a problem, interloper. One of our ships has been badly damaged and will struggle to complete our expedition. What should we do? Oh, are these my ships?
Um, um, is this our crappy frickin'? <laughs> I don't know. You know what? Man up and just do it anyway. We're probably gonna lose him. <laughs> okay. Um, so let's take off. But I want to. Well, here let's let's go up to our sh our ship first and get the rest of the the repairs done. Okay, ship is repaired. Hop out, create a save point. Curious where we're at. We are in Loptaneb. Oh, okay, we're in Loptaneb. Sure. Orbital station coordinates received. Okay. Um. What are you doing? There we go. Okay, I think that portal... Well... I don't know what that portal icon thingy means. It's a two-star... Corvax system. Oh, that's our mission. The, the signal echo thingy. Okay. Um... How far away are we from... What is that? It's a three-star GEC system. But it's also got the No Man's Sky icon thingy on it. So I don't know what that is. Hmm. Okay, well, anyway, let's... um. Let's get back to the mission here and keep on that. We just gotta remember to go back to that, to, or get to the station before we leave this system too. Share the portal experience with Nada in space. Some of the anomaly from the quick menu. Oh, are we done then? On this planet? Well, let's go back down and see if we can find the last two critters. We'll probably get a decent amount of cha-ching from it before we do anything else. Okay, there's one of the critters right there. Yowzers! 454,241 units for that critter? Dang, man. That's as much money as I think I've ever gotten in this game. Uh, you know, scanning stuff. Very cool. There we go. Okay. So we found all the fauna on this, uh, in this place. 1,500 nanite bonus. Very good. And, um, good. Okay. I don't think there's anything else we need to do around here. Where's our ship? Our ship is that way. Now, do this. Let's see if we can tunnel our way out of here. We are a complier. Discovered all species on sick planets. Or no, compiler, not complier. <laughs> compiler. Class C, no damage. It's only been on one expedition. Uh, we have 22 points, minus 15 is 8, no, 7. Um, we're supposed to 
do eight according to the guide, but you know what? I think I'm going to take it, actually. It's just one shy. So, yeah, let's take it. Okay, we got ourselves another frigate. Nice. Okay, let's get our next suit slot. Um, I want this to go here. Let's check modules. A thermal protection, a radiation protection, and a toxic. How much? Nanites. I, I think we definitely want to have a, a lower... It's either a, a lower toxic or radiation. This A class is a radiation. Okay, so let's... Um, do we have two S class toxics? S class... No, a B class. Okay, so let's get both the toxic and the radiation. Now for thermal, what do I have for thermal? I just have those two. That's cold, that's cold, that's radiation, that's cold, radiation, cold. Yeah, let's get the thermal as well. Okay, I think that's good for ex excuse me, exosuit. Let's check starship. Infernife and positron module. Both of those are already maxed out on my ship. Wait, are they? Yeah, S S S. And Positron, I don't have the Positron installed, but I'm pretty sure that I have three S classes of those two. Let's check the multi-tool. It's a C, not interested. Um, yeah, we'll do the upgrade later. I got that one, we got that one slot from the freighter. Okay, scanner, installable upgrade. Um, I think we're maxed out on scanners. Scatter blaster. Neutron cannon. No. Okay. Not interested in any of those. We go to exosuit. We have. Oh, not exosuit. Multi tool. Yeah, we're maxed out on scanners. And that X class is one humdinger of a scanner, too, so. Okay, I think that is all we need to do in this station. Let's just run back here really quick. There's a new traveler. Let's look at the terminal real quick. Okay. Talk to this, this traveler. Looks like a cat. Yeah, translucent skin. We were born too late to make a difference. I wonder sometimes if there's any point in going on. If anything matters, if history will just sweep everything away. I'm sorry, I'm in a strange mood after all these are the last days, are they not? Uh, I don't know, are they? Uh, the traveler looks down, their eyes full of pain. Encourage them to go on, ask about the last days. Say you feel the same. Um, I'm kind of curious about why you think these are the last days. Have you not felt it, the very fact that you and I are talking even now across the chasm of universes? Things are breaking apart. Give it time, you'll see. Nothing lasts forever. Okay, kind of a sour, sour attitude. All the cities are gone, all the wars are at an end. The Sentinels saw to that, didn't they? And you know what? They were right. Ask where they came from, 100 nanites. Uh, sure. Where'd you come from? Traveler Akago offers directions to a place of interest. Anomalous subspace signal detected. Okay, so I think that's a great another grave marker. We still have the first one that we haven't gone to yet, and both of those are going to give us new glyphs. Grab 
grab that. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, pull in the anomaly and go talk to Nada and see what they have to say. Hundred ninety five nanax from Helios. Fifty nanax. That's kind of lame. Traveler entity, it's been some time. Polo has missed you. Yeah, what do you mean by that? I ask Nada what they mean, some time. I have surely not been gone that long. I explained that I found a portal that I stepped through and experienced another world. Nada looks at me with concern. That's his concern look, by the way, in case you didn't know that. Traveler, your journey was longer, you might realize. Portals have much in common with our home. The travel is anomalous. Shouldn't that be longer than you realize? You are unharmed, yes? You feel complete? You feel not crimson? Uh, yeah, I feel not crimson. Not as pleased. Old portals are strange, but so is our home. Polo is clever. Atlas false entity cannot see us. Polo uses Atlas fal falsity against themselves. Okay. Now Polo holds corner for black holes, travelers. So now what do we do? How are you? Are you hungry? This is customary greeting for your old friend. I told Nada you would be fine, traveler friend. Poor Nada. They do get nervous. Ask about strange worlds. Ask for Atlas station coordinates. Ask for black hole coordinates. Uh, strange worlds. Once such places did not exist, could not be seen. But now, every second more appear. They sape through a new creation. I do not know where these new worlds come from, what lies beyond our boundaries. I do not think I will ever know, but they are exciting to see. Yes, yes they are. That's it? I guess that's it. Okay, so... Uh, if we go here... Go back to a leap in the dark. Locate the mysterious distress signal. The signal appears to be emanating from a nearby location. Is that back on that planet? I'm thinking maybe it is. Okay, let's warp back to our freighter then. Um, ba -ba 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 space stations. So we're yeah we're in Loptaneb Cycler. I have no idea how far away that is from our other systems. Okay, let's go back to here, because that'll get us real close to the planet, and then we'll go find this anomalous signal. All right, do we need to do anything while we're here? You work yet? No. So irritating. Oh. Oh, that doesn't even have any collision. Yeah, that is definitely broken. Um, alright, we bought a couple new modules. Um, it looks like I got a few things I need to put away. Okay, let me do some inventory management and then we'll go. Ah, oh, shoot. That is a cold one again. Um, I didn't mean to buy that. Darn it. We should sell that. I, I was thinking that was a, a heat one. I gotta pay attention to the snowflake and not the flame. Um, we should... We don't need this because I think I already have three... Well, let me see what I have. Yeah, no, we already have three. Those are all S classes. So, yeah, we need to... We, we just need to sell that back. And we can still use it, too, because we can have up to three. So we just need to get it. We need to replace this with an S-class toxic when, when we get a, an opportunity to do so. That's radiation, and this is radiation. So we can still buy another S-class radiation too. So radiation and toxic S's we can still get when we get the opportunity to do so. Oh, 
approximate location. Oh, right here. Unknown grave. I approach the source of the signal. A hologram appears. It's Artemis! Hi, Artemis! But there is only silence. The slow pulse of cosmic noise in the signal. Ask if they're all right. If Artemis can hear me, they make no sign. The hologram just stares. It's strange, but I feel a sense of deja vu as if I've been here before, right at this very moment. Ask where they are. As I move closer, Artemis... The Artemis projection begins to speak, their words punctuated by a strange static. They came, Gazette. Watch closely, Gazette. Machines, murderers, Gazette against the Gazette. The voice falls silent. The project projection looks at me. Something is very wrong. Scan the hologram. I scan the hologram. It bears the exact same signature as every other transmission I've received from Artemis. There is no ulterior source for the signal. Everything they have said... <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, everything they have said appears to have come from right in front of me. As I stand here, Artemis begins to speak. Where are Gazette? Called them, but still beloved. Anomaly, they Gazette, Nada, Gazette, Polo, watching us, Gazette, tracking. Gazette, mistake, Gazette, abandoned, but it wasn't through the portal. Gazette, please, don't trust Gazette. Hmm. She mentioned Nada and Polo. I'm afraid. Aren't Gazette? It's okay. We'll we'll figure it out. The projection fizzles away to mere static. The echo is all that is left of the entity known as Artemis. A grave of glitched data trapped in a sunless reality. My friend is dead. Perhaps they were never alive. I must tell Apollo what I have seen. The first contact to follow at a hollow terminus. Okay, did we... Did we get a glyph from this? Um, discoveries. No, not discoveries. Catalog and guide. Collected knowledge. Isn't there... Oh, here we go. Portal glyphs. Oh, we don't have any portal glyphs. Okay. These look like glyphs. All translation of Atlas's words is considered blasphemy? By who? Okay. So Artemis is dead? Really? After all that? After all that, Artemis is dead? That sucks. That yeah, really sucks, man. Okay, so I guess we need to go talk to Apollo now. Let's call our ship over here. Whilst we're here... Let's go to this unknown grave, and we can also then scan this new planet, too. Forty-two thousand. Okay, let's go do this quick. Trace signal to Corvax. I wanted to Gazette, granted with convergence in exchange for Gazette. 
The price, extraction from my mind, their wrist, gazette, recovered. I gained their gazette. Didn't they do that to me too? Lied to us. Convergence abets gazette. Sentinels provided with tribute carapace to gazette. Corvax helped them conceal. They are coming. Gazette fire. Please step back. I, gazette. The fallen traveler's grave is marked by a glyph, an epitaph of some ancient technology. I obtain the glyph and with it the ability to travel to unknown worlds. I leave the fallen traveler in peace. Alright, so we got our first of 16 glyphs. Um, let's see, red dots. Okay, let's take a quick peek over here for any more red dots. Not seeing anything. I think I'll grab this dihydrogen. Okay, let's take a look at this. We have discovered two of the three fauna. The other one is also a flyer. So this is just a flying... A flying fauna planet. There we go, right there. There we go. Oh. It didn't... I, I meant I missed that, but we got units for it, so that's that's what that's what's what. Okay, I think we're done here. Uh, what kind of minerals does this place have? Sodium, basalt. We don't have any basalt. Why don't we get some of that? Because that's the first time we've come across it. Um, okay, so basalt, sodium deposit, sodium deposit, basalt deposit. Let's go get some. Okay, so that gives us 314 basalt. Uh, and we got this memory fragment thing too. What does that do? Prepackaged Dyson pump unit. Significantly improves heat performance. Oh, for that's for the cyclotron ballista. Okay. Cool. Um, I'd like to, as usual, get a full stack of this. So I'm going to... Oh, look at that those thingies over there. Uh, I'm going to go find some more basalt and then uh, once I'm done with that I'll meet you guys up into space and we'll talk to Apollo and see what he has to say. Oh we got an exosuit upgrade chart. Nice. Might as well do that right now. Okay, so for that, we're going to need sodium nitrate. Um, and we're going to need one of those, and we're going to need one of these. So we need oxygen. So I'll gather up all the stuff, and then um, I'll meet you guys over there. Okay, let's get the sodium nitrate out of there, and that, that, and that, and we are now working on the fourth row of our technology slots. Um, we're starting to have some space issues here. 
So yeah, why don't we why don't we do some inventory upgrade slots for a little bit as we continue to do these. Okay, so we got a full stack of basalt, just out of curiosity. What does basalt break down into? Nothing by itself. Interesting. Okay. Let's go talk to Apollo. Yes. Can we just, like... Back all the way up there. Well, that's the way. Uh huh. Uh huh. I like it. Uh huh. Uh huh. All right, here we go. Warning: Network compromised. Warning: Manual override required. There are no signal matches for Artemis or Apollo. The terminal is a stream of warnings and errors. Perform a manual override. The warning messages have ceased. Some new frequency shimmers into being. All right. What do we got going on here? Break, break, break. Data stream overwritten. What in the world? No. You are not Kazit alone. Tell me. What's the point in living if we know that life will finish? Um... Yeah, first of all, tell me who you are. You refuse to answer? That's answer enough, I suppose. I know you, Traveler. I know where you've been. I know where you are going. What if I told you that Artemis could be saved? What if I told you that Artemis could live once more after a fashion? What would you do then, I wonder? Um, Demand to know who you are. I am nothing. That's horseshit. The blood of Artemis is data. The heart... It's glitch. I can help you retrieve them both. We require a mind arc, a receptacle for their soul. Can you do that for me? I am reactivating Artemis's frequency. Speak with them when you are ready. The stranger offers me blueprints for something they call the mind arc. A device they claim will allow me to restore Artemis to life. All right. I still need to know what your name is, though. I accept, not knowing who the stranger is or how they possess such knowledge of my adventures. But if there is a chance that I can help Artemis, I will take it. Mind arc, soul engine. Okay. So, great. We have a mind arc and a soul engine. Just what I've always wanted. Oh, there's Artemis right there. Oh crap. We need to need to charge. Okay. Are you Gazit? Are you Gazit? Are you Gazit? Artemis repeats these two words endlessly, unable to see my face or hear my voice. I must craft the mind arc before I can help them further. Um, okay, so... Soul engine... Okay, first living pearl... Yeah, we got all that stuff back at the base. Okay, so is this place still marked? as the quest location. Let's go ahead and call our freighter over here. And then go up to it. Oh wait, are there any storm crystals around? see any storm crystals at all. Maybe they're not on this planet. Okay, let's create a soul engine and a mind arc. A strange piece of technology, a gift from beyond the stars. It shimmers in a way that suggests it's not fully in this world. Report the appearance of Null to Nada. But are we supposed to go back down and talk to Artemis again? Symbol Mind Arc. The Mind Arc can be used to rescue Artemis. Advanced Elves may require hybrid upgrades. 
I've already assembled it though, so why isn't it uh, giving me credit for it? Bring the mine arc to Artemis. Okay, yeah, return to the hollow terminal. Gotcha. It just took a second for it to update. That's a different hollow terminus. Oh, definitely different. On a different planet, too. Or actually, it's a moon. Uh, this is a bleak moon. I didn't get enough time to read all the other stuff. There's no hazard here, at least. A walking cactus. Ooh, 454,000. Nice. Skyworms. More skyworms. I can get the scanner to work. Wow, look at all that. Moolah something red over there 242,000 there's another red thingy still not getting the red thingies are they on the other side of the hill here Those things. Weird. Weird, man. Okay, let's do this. Is it? Comfort Artemis, use the mind arc. I activate the mind arc. I do not know what I expect. Some show of light and fury, some carthesis where Artemis emerges in the flesh, restored to life before my eyes. But it is not to be. One moment I see their hologram, and the next there is nothing. The stranger who gave me these blueprints beckons me over. Their signal still active. You again? You can tell me your name now? Travelers are a dream, an idea that we have some special place in this universe. Artemis had it, you had it, Apollo too, though they would conceal it. Even if, even I had this dream long ago. We are countless, my friend, walking these worlds, yearning for friendship. No one wants to be alone, not truly, but the closer you get to others, the more you risk hurting yourself and hurting them. The deepest secret of the universe is not that of the glass or the Arions or the pro progenitors. It is the final act, the decision to abandon those who need you. It is the primal sin, the foundation of existence itself. That's like, okay. Uh, go to the stars, traveler. Your friends wait for you. They will help you bring peace to poor Artemis. Return when you are finished. We have much to discuss. Okay. I guess we already scanned that thing. Okay. Objective updated. Seek help for Artemis. Um, bring Artemis to Nada. A copy of Artemis has been stored in the Mind Arc. Oh! It has? Where's the Mind Arc? What happened to it? It must be in our quote-unquote quest inventory. 
I guess. Alrighty. Okay, guys. Well, I think we're going to wrap things up here. Um, I'm going to spin some off-camera time. We need one more flyer and two more ground critters uh, to finish that. Uh, where are we doing? How are we doing our money? We have 100, uh, 108 million. So we're doing good on money. Um, so I'm going to do some off-camera stuff. Uh, replenish a few resources that I have that need replenishment on the freighter. Keep looking around for more frigates for our fleet. And those are probably the two main things I'm going to do off camera. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, I will bring you guys back in the next episode and we'll figure out what our next move is going to be. Um, obviously, at some point, we will pick up and continue the quest here um, and we might even we might even do that in the next episode we'll see uh, but we'll figure that out so guys thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed this episode and if you did please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment to share out the video and that is just weird <laughs> and uh, we'll catch you in the next episode bye bye